Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Booga Pawball TV Wrestling. Hey, wait a minute. I think it ought to be Pawball and Boog TV Wrestling. Why, why are we changing the name now? Uh, sounds better. I don't think so. Anyway. Let's try it again. Welcome to Booga Pawball TV Wrestling. I know. To, to, why don't we say, welcome to Boog, and I'll say Pawball. Okay. All right. Ladies Here and we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Boog. And Pawpaw. TV Wrestling. Yes, and once again, here to entertain you with our wrestling venue. And we're here with our first, um, I guess, kind of regular episode uh, on 2K23. This is true. What an adventure it has been, setting all this up and making this thing all come together. Yes, we are right. Uh, we are coming right off of uh, Armageddon. Or not Armageddon, uh, Unforgiven. Unforgiven, that's correct. So, um, yeah, I'd say we just jump right in. I agree. The first match is going to be a doozy. It's going to be the final boss. Yes, the final boss is Dak, and he's going to be taking on Brian Danielson. Oh, uh, yes, Brian Danielson. Let's see, isn't he something to do with a dragon? Yeah, the American dragon. Yeah, the American dragon against the final boss. Yes. Won't that be awesome? And then, the former United States champion Solo Sokoa looks to get back into the Winners League tonight as he takes on Dustin Rhodes. This is true. That will be another good match. And then, the best friends um, are in tag team action as they take on the Viking Raiders. Yes, this will be a good match as well, but I tell you what, them Viking Raiders, they got a lot of weight advantage here. <laughs> That's for sure. And then, the Intercontinental Champion John Moxley's in action as he'll be taking on Johnny Gargano. And let's keep in mind, this is a non-title match, so if Moxley loses, he keeps the title. Yes, but Gargano may get a future title opportunity. I would think he would be very much up for that. Yeah. And then, we have uh, the Hardy Boys taking on the Young Bucks in tag team action. Oh yeah, Jeff and Matt. Will be taking on Nick and Matt. Yes. Not to get the two Matts confused or anything, yes. but it will be a good time on the Matt. And then we have Andre the Giant taking on Jungle Boy. Oh, and here's another <laughs> weight advantage here with Andre. He's like five times the size of Jungle Boy. Yes. Gotta find out how that one plays out. And then Samoa Joe takes on Wardlow. Wow, I just like to see a Wardlow do the um, sympathy on him. <laughs> yeah. And then we have the Booga Pawpaw TV Wrestling World Heavyweight Champions in action. And what a championship this will be. And he ta as he takes on, in a non-title match, Brett Hitman Hart. These two competitors will give it their all and what a great great match it will be for us and our fans yes and then the main event the undertaker well uh we'll take on john cena in our main event this too will be a good one there's only one problem how is the undertaker going to wrestle someone he can't see Bye -bye. Okay, uh, let's get to the action. <laughs> Think about it. Things do. Did you get one Star Trek? Okay, uh, here we go. As for our opening match here on Booga Pop All TV Wrestling, as the final boss coming off of uh, his massive loss against Cody Rhodes in the main event of Unforgiven, looks to get some momentum back again as it takes on the American Dragon tonight. Well, you know. I just wonder how the American Dragon is feeling, knowing that uh, Cody Rhodes just beat this guy. I would think that the momentum would be in uh, his favor uh, at this point in time. So the Rock probably does have some things to worry about. Yeah. Makes the final boss not so final, huh? Now it's going to become the final boss once again. We're picking up the win here tonight. He'll definitely be back on track, that's for sure. Yeah, definitely.
the final boss has arrived. I'm big and pop all TV wrestling. This is true. Wow, look at the arena. It is packed. That's I just wonder how many people do we have here tonight, Boo? Does anybody have a head count? Take sales or anything like that? Uh, we have came up to uh, 69,000 in the attendance here tonight for Boo and Pop TV Rest. 69,000? That's a yes. lot of people. Oh, by the way, Boo, uh, you didn't tell them where we were tonight. Yes, we are uh, broadcasting here from Atlanta, Georgia. We decided not to move after I'm forgiven. I was just fixing to say, the scene looks about the same. And here comes the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. What are your thoughts on Brian Danielson going into this? Well, uh, like I said before, uh, he's probably uh, in a good, good place to be because of the lock coming off when they lost. And, uh, and didn't Brian come off a win last time? And I think he was not at Unforgiven, I think. Not at Unforgiven, I mean the last time he wrestled. Mm, yeah, no, I know, uh, Papa, I might have to look for your notes there. Oh, uh, that's what I think. I could be wrong, but I think so. Well, you could just look for your notes, though. Well, the notes are just like, hey boy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but can Brian Danielson defeat the final boss? And I forgot my reading glasses. Wait, you're wearing them right now. That's not reading. No, those are your uh, seeing glasses. These are my seeing the matches glasses. Seeing the matches. How many glasses do you have? Several. Several. Yes. One for every single possible thing. No, I just have two. Yeah. One for each eye. <laughs> you have your own eyeglasses? My, my left eye sees better than my right eye. Do you wear like a monocle or something? Uh, no. Different prescriptions. Oh, face first off the mat. Wow, Anderson. look at this. Just like with Cody, he started out on top. I wonder if he doesn't realize that maybe it's not the best thing to do to attack first. He should like slow down because at the end of the match, he's just not where he ought to be. Maybe that's what the final boss witness is. He exhausts himself at the beginning of the match. That's what I was saying, too. If he can practically survive his early onslaught, he may have a chance. This is true. Final boss now punches straight to the face of Danielson. And stomp to the face. And a knee to the back of the head. Wow. And stomp to the back of the neck. Danielson. Uh, the rock. He is really taking a uh, beating here. Yes. And Danielson fighting back, kicks to the thigh. That's the final loss. But the Rock counters the forearm with a punch to the face. Well, Danielson can take some punishment. There's no doubt about that. Arm drag from the final loss. Stone to the arm from the final boss and cover. To pick up the win, Danielson had a two. We can hear the crowd is chanting Rocky, Rocky. Shot countered by the, by the Rock. For Danielson, the takedown. You know, Danielson has a reputation for being for a very technical wrestler. Yes. One of the best. Another knee to the midsection. Right now, it doesn't look like he's got too much working for him. The Rock. To the apron, punch to the face. Oh, and a stutter takes down the final boss. Now we're down to the floor here. Danielson, DDT on the floor. Does his most work and best work. Forearm to the boss. Danielson now going after the knee. Rock now back to his feet. And back into the ring. What's going on with Danielson? He's holding off. I don't know if that was the greatest idea. Allow the final boss to recover, no, and he's going to pay for it. And now, The Rock starting to rally here with a clothesline. Cover here. 
Final boss for the victory. And the final boss picks up the win. The win is the final boss. The final he has boss. redeemed himself. Yes, defeats Brian Danielson <laughs> here tonight. The final boss has done it here tonight on Boog and Pop All TV Wrestling. I'd be willing to bet you that uh, the Rock is feeling pretty good about this win. As to. Say, Cody, this could be you. Wow, wait a minute. Where'd that go from? What's going on here? It looks like Solo Sokoa called out sick, and it looks like Matt Riddle's going to be taking his spot. So I guess I should not. Wait, I guess we should not write them down until they come up, huh? Here we go. That means we cannot do the list when we first come on. Well, here comes Dustin Rhodes. Where are your thoughts on Dustin Rhodes going into this? Uh, up a pair. Prepared? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because, because Dustin Rhodes is thinking he's going to get Solo to come tonight. He just for Solo to call out sick, and now he's going to take go wild wild with Matt Riddle now. I am like very unprepared. I'm looking for my paperwork here. Uh, we're going to have to have a talk with these people. Get this call out sick in the middle of the, in the real middle of the show. Got that right. Okay. And here comes the Dusty Rhodes' new opponent, Matt Riddle. It's the original bro. Yes. With his little scooter. Yes. What are your thoughts on Riddle going into this? Wow. Uh, Riddle versus Dustin Rhodes. You know, Riddle is a very good. Uh, wrestler, he, he reminds me more on the martial arts side than a wrestler, okay? I mean, uh, his moves are so fast and so quick, it's more like he's in the martial arts more than being just a wrestler. So that could really be a problem for Dustin, but the Dustin's got the power, and uh, if he gets too close to him, Dustin might just take him out with a bunch of power moves. There we go. There we go. Dustin Rose Matt, and Matt Riddle. Here we so go. Matt Riddle always reminds me of Tarzan. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Kicks up from uh, Riddle here. So is he going to make him his cheetah? Don't make a monkey out of me. Forearms. And he's Riddle to the back of Dustin, a stump to the knee. And you'll see him use a lot of these martial arts kind of moves with his legs. Dustin fighting back. And here, Dustin's got the power stuff. Let's see and that now, that's the power. backbreaker now, arching Riddle over his knee. Yeah. Oh, knee buster. The face buster. Okay. Like that elbow drop from Dustin. Ooh, you see, that's that power I'm talking about. And now throwing Riddle. Again. Another, another power move. Counter from Riddle though. Counter from Justin. And now. No! Oh, suplex. And a snap man. Riddle back up though. Up a catch. Corner. Close line from Justin. He should always be treated as such. Yeah, it can't hurt to stay hyper aware of someone. Now, like Justin, like going this. after the knee of Riddle. So much torque on yep, the knee. Take the legs away from him. Riddle cannot use all of those martial art moves. Dustin keeps going. Really takes his legs out from oh, Riddle. Well, continues to target that knee. The Riddle fighting oh, back. Forearm from Riddle. And now he rolls Dustin out. to the Looking outside though. You don't get any timeouts in a fight, that's just run it away. Oh, oh Riddle with a clothesline sends Dustin off the floor again. 
Now Riddle to the outside. Dust was waiting for him to send him right back in. Not much of a kill. Oh, but a forearm. He was way forward. Riddle now spring forward. Oh, disaster kick. Cover here for the win. Dustin out of two. Dustin now the clothesline. Oh. Knee lift there for Dustin. Elbow drop. You know, these two wrestlers are from the extremes, you know? Oh, uh, backbreaker. Riddle, California boy, surfer kind of guy. That's right. Yeah, yeah, Riddle, uh, Riddle is Rhodes from Texas. Actually, uh, that's incorrect. Riddle is actually from Las Vegas. Well, he's always portraying a super, a surfer dude. Uh, Riddle is from uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, according to the announcer. Unless we got it wrong. Well, <laughs> Kick to the always back. portraying Here we go. Himself. Riddle and Justin going out of here. Riddle seems to be getting the better of this. Dustin now, where is Dustin going? Dustin's leaving. Dustin's getting out of here. I don't think so. Wait a minute. This is a real opponent. Solo. He sends Dustin back into the ring. Dustin now back into the ring. Got to be forced to continue this match. Snake eyes to Riddle. Dustin now has got Riddle up. Backbreaker. And another one. That's that brute strength I was talking about. Takes his boy and survives. Yes, we met something about solo shows. I was sick. Backdrop. Dustin now. Spine Buster. I think he's going in for the kill. Dustin. Oh! Plants Riddle. Now he's going to finish this. We'll see a bulldog, Dustin. That's one of his favorite moves. There it is! Bulldog! Cover to pick up the win over Riddle. No riddle out of two. I can't believe it, boo. Riddle kicked out. We kick out after all that. Oh my gosh. Dustin now. Power bomb a riddle. The riddle keeps fighting. Wasting too much time. Off the ropes. Drop down. And they bump into each other. Riddle now. Off the ropes goes Dustin and knee to the face. Ooh, Dustin now to back to his feet. Neckbreaker dodge. Get a kick from Riddle. Riddle now disaster kick. Cover here. For the win. Kick out from Dustin. With one. The Destin in the counter. Punch from Destin. Off the ropes. Bump into each other. Punch to the gut. Destin now. Somehow on drop. Stomp to the arm from Destin. Now Destin targeting the arm of Riddle. This old boy from Texas, he is, he is ridiculous. Splash. Can't believe he didn't come for the pin. Dustin going to the top rope. What's Dustin looking for here? Splash on the top rope. Surely that will be it. No, Dustin is going to make sure this is over. Now Dustin no, Riddle able the counter. It takes out the knee. He's stuck now. And now, suplex from Riddle. 
I never saw that coming. Riddle now telling Justin to bring it. Riddle had just about had all his kick. And now, Arbar locked in. It's Justin going to has tap out. Has he got it? Has he got it? No. Justin now to get out of it. Riddle now, oh, knee to the arm. Go, oh, kick to the face. That's a Marshall Rose I've been talking about. The Pro Mission locked in. He's Dusty going to tap out. He's Dusty going to be forced to tap out here. Uh, so far, he's handling the pain. And he's, and he's trying to get out of it, and he gets out of it. Wow. Dustin now! Bulldog! Bulldog. Cover. That's his finisher. And it finishes yes, Riddle. Dustin, Dustin Rhodes defeats Matt Riddle here tonight. Wow. Now that's what I call a win. Dustin Rose victorious here tonight. Them, them Rhodes boys are doing okay, aren't they? That's for sure. Hello, friends, and welcome back to another paid sponsor for Boog and Papa TV Wrestling. Well, it's time to pay some bills, right, Boog? Yep. All right, here we go. Well, one of our best sponsors that we've had for quite such a time is Bubba's Bargain Barn and Diamond Emporium. Yes, friends, at Bubba's, you can find just about anything that you want, such as used cars and trucks, uh, wedding rings, and furs. If you name it, it's here at Bubba's Bargain Barn. Now, you can give us a call at BR549, or we're conveniently located out on Highway 166 in Bubbaville. You know, it's right there next to Poduck. Anyway, come out to Bubba's Bargain Barn where you too can find the deal of a lifetime, no matter what it is. And oh, by the way, if we're talking about the used cars and trucks, you can trade your vehicle in here. It doesn't matter. Bubba says it doesn't matter if it runs or not. You can push it in, tow it in, drive it in. It don't matter. We got a deal for you today, and we got a deal that you'll be satisfied with. So once again, come out to see us, Highway 166 in Bubbleville. Be glad to see you here. Y'all come on back now, you hear? Back to Boo, you Boog. Hey. <laughs> and we're back here with some more Boog and Bubble TV wrestling, as here comes the best friends. Yes sir there, Boog. The best friends are in the building. I want you to look. You can't hardly tell them apart. They're both wearing tie-dyes clothes. I, I hope that uh, there's some kind of distinguishing marks between them. When they get in the ring, like maybe they'll lose the headband or something, and then we won't know who's there. Well, I think the headband's a pretty good, a pretty good indicator, Papa. Right. Well, we'll see until they somebody knocks that headband off that Joker. And you know what? These. These Viking Raiders, they could just do that. Can you imagine about being a hit with that big one? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Lord have mercy. You're uh, talking about some place ate their Wheaties. That boy was ate a truckload. <laughs> I really, I'm really glad we are not best friends right now. Yes. This would not be good. And here there comes the Raiders. Yes. You know that sound? It kind of reminds me of old tugboat. You remember whenever he used to come in with that same sound? Yeah. Yes, but uh, these guys, holy moly. Here comes Eric and Ibar, the Viking Raiders. Holy Eric. moly. You know, we're probably all related to those guys. The Vikings were all over this place many, many hundreds of years ago. That's for sure. But now the, uh, the Viking Raiders look, look to raid over the Boog and Popo TV wrestling. Uh, I don't think guys. so. We can't let them raid over us. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at them fellas. Woo! Well, they need a spa day. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see if 
how best friends are gonna fare against these two. All right, who's two. gonna? Who's gonna? Who do you think is gonna match off first? Well, here we go. We're starting it off here. What? Oh, it's a tornado match. I did not realize. Yes. Um, unfortunately, uh, in the game, um, normal tag team matches goes on for like an hour, so we have to do the tornado matches. Oh, I understand. Wow. Oh, and a knee from Eric straight to Trent's face. And now Ivo with a neck breaker to Chuck. Well, now, Luke, uh, help me out here. My memory ain't that good. Uh, but on a tornado tag team match, uh, is it pinfalls and submissions? Yes, first one to get pinfall or submission is going to win the match. Has it got to be in the ring? Uh, yes. Okay, all right. What about the 10 count outside the ring? Will that there, have any effect because there's so many of them? Um, in tornado matches, there are no count outs or disqualifications. Oh, okay. That's what I need to know. Uh, you know, uh, Mike Batista or Papa Mega One, I don't think uh, I've ever been into a tornado tag match that I can remember. Oh, what a suplex there for Trent Beretta. Ooh. Now, uppercut to Eric. There's just so much action here. I don't know who to look at first. It's a good thing we've got a left eye and a right eye. Yeah, that's for sure. Watch. I'm watching eyeball on the right. And, uh, and I'm watching uh, Eric and Trent. With my left. Wait a minute, submission hold locked in. Could this be it? Is Eric got the other one tied up? Does Eric have to tap out? Well, I'm going to get in there and get my head. Get out of it. And he got out of it. I can't believe Ibar is down. No, and a knee from Chuck straight to Ibar. And Eric now. Oh, what a suplex. And now with a stomp and a kick to the back. Eric now going to the top rope. I cannot believe that uh, Ibar is oh. going around and, 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 and handling him like that. What a, what a spectacle to see. Yes. He's three times his size and he's holding his own with him. Oh, look at this, submission's hold locked in. Is Trent going to tap out? No, Chuck, able to break it up. And this match will, uh, that will happen. And this match will have big um, implications deciding the next challengers for the Boogie and Popo TV Wrestling World Tag Team Championships. Uh, I see, you still uh, who the Double stretch locked dance. in. Locked in way too tight. There is no escape. Oh no. no. Cover here, cover here from Eric for the win. No, Chuck out at one. Wow. Trent now going after Eric with a takedown. We have two takedowns here. Wait a minute. We cover here from Trent for the win. No. Oh. Backbreaker from Chuck. Well, it looks like best friends are capitalizing on every move they can. Now look at this, Cloverleaf. Oh, Lord, eyeball is going to be broken to a path. <laughs> Trent now with the uppercut to, to Eric. Submission hold locked back in. Is Eric going to tap out? Achilles lock, locked in by Trent. Is he going to force Eric to tap out here? Oh, no, he's Eric over. fighting back, he gets out of it. Yes, he did. Arvar and Chuck going back at it again. DDT from Chuck. Wow. Oh, that's a drop kick from Eric. And Trent now. Viking Raiders are both down. Cover here from Trent to pick up the win. I won't let this happen. Yeah, Ivar right there to break it up. Yes, he was. Oh, and a running elbow from Chuck. Oh, but a clothesline from Ivar. Now stomp to the arm from Trent. Ivar, oh! Whoa, did you see that? He barely cleared the top rope, but he did. Oh, the shoulder tackle takes Eric to the floor. And now we're, we're just all on the outside here. Yes. The referee cannot do anything at this point. You almost wish he had two referees as much action as we're seeing tonight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uppercut from Chuck to Ivar. Oh, and oh, Trent just got sent back into the ring. What's left of him? 
And Chuck going after uh, Eric with a backbreaker. Well, when you got a hand of these best friends, they have really been on top of their game tonight. That's for sure. Never would have thought this, honestly, with the size of my ball. Trent now back to the outside, but gets sent right back in. Eric now back into the ring. And takedown here from Trent. Oh, now a double team on that ball. Here comes Eric. Going after Chuck. And sent him to the ring. No. Need to the midsection of Trent in a headbutt. Chuck now sends Eric back into the ring. Alvar gives the signal. Ooh, he's down again. How many times can he drop this big guy on his face? I don't know. <laughs> Eric now back to the uh, back to the outside. Chops at Trent. But submission hole locked down the outside. Unfortunately, he keep Alvar off of him. He may. Oh. DDT. Pinfall has to be in the ring, right? Yes, and it, you got to tap out on the outside. Oh, I got you. But that means a lot more pain can be endured. That's for sure. Uh, he's able to get out of it. Yeah, but it hurt him all right. You see him with him. Yeah, yeah uh, both members of the best friends have been targeting that, that knee of Eric for the best of this match. Oh, Eric Ivar, just the power. Elbow, punch, elbow again, and a headbutt from Ivar. No gut wrench. Oh, gut buster. And now, oh, some sort of power bomb there from Ivar to Chuck. Oh, oh man, what a punch. Oh, oh. oh. Ivar hit him so hard his whole family could have felt that one. Oh, but Trent able to counter, though. Man, they forgot all about the ring, didn't they? <laughs> Guess so. Oh. It's going to be won or lost on the outside of the ring. Who will be standing? That's the question. <laughs> Down again. <laughs> Down goes side bar again. Yeah. I don't know oh, and a DDT face. onto the floor from Chuck to, to so Eric. Somebody needs to get him back in the ring. DDT. Oh, another one right to the floor. Ivar back up though. How did he get up so quick? Oh, <laughs> oh he's down again. again. I bet he's been dropped on his head 25 <laughs> times. Wait a minute, here we go. Trent's got oh, Ivar in the ring. We got one back in the ring. There you go. House over. Oh, another one. That's going to keep him out. So, wait a minute. Let's see what Trent. you can do. Here it is. Submission. Cross face locked in. Is, is he going to tap? Is he going to tap? tap out? Is he? Is he going to oh, tap? Oh, he's got locked in good. There's nowhere around the ring ropes there is. I think well, maybe. Oh, he's going to tap. Maybe. Is he going to tap? He's got it locked in good. Ibar's thinking about it. You gotta remember, Ibar's been dropped on his face 10, 15 times. Oh, he got, no, got out of it. Ibar's oh, still in this. I thought for sure it was over. Oh, and a clothesline from Ibar. Payback. But Trent fighting back. And a takedown again. <laughs> oh, the face. Is that enough to finish Ibar? Best friends for the win. The best friends yes. pick up the win. Best friends have it. Best friends defeat the Viking Raiders Ooh. here tonight. Well, this goes to show you. You drop Ivar on his face 25 <laughs> times and you got the win. Yes, what a massive win for the best friends here tonight. Well, you have to admit it, man. They were the better man tonight. And the better team tonight? The better men. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Pay attention. Uh, John Moxley versus uh, Johnny Gargano, Mr. Wrestling. Yes, the Intercontinental Champion in action. Well, here we go, we're starting it off here, Papa. All right, let me correct the scoreboard here. No, no, the ref is out. Moxley just took out the ref. 
Oh Lord, now this is Moxley's kind of match. Hercarada. He can do anything and everything to anything by he wants to do because there ain't no referee stopping. him. Gargano is getting the best of him right Mark now. Off Johnny. the ropes, basement drop can kick. Johnny uh, capitalize on this too? Possibly. Chop. Well, knowing Gargano, he's probably going to try to keep the match as uh, fair as possible. Wow. You better help the referee up. Let the referee shake it off. Here comes Gargano! Oh, but Moxley oh sidesteps. Gargano into the stairs. A stomp to the back from Moxley. And now, looking to extend the elbow of Gargano. Man. So the shoulder is definitely going to hamper your ability to fight. Gargano into the stairs again. Moxley is using those stairs to the, his advantage. Moxley now but back into the ring. The count at four. Gargano's like. Wait a minute, Gargano. Moxley missed his springboard DDT. Gargano now off the ropes. Oh, face first goes Mox. Oh, my goodness gracious. This is a very big match for Gargano. Go one on one with the Intercontinental Champion. If he happens to win this one, what that will do for his career is unspeakable. Yeah, he's, he's right. I'm pretty sure that would mean that he would be getting a title opportunity if he got the win. Absolutely. Punch from Mox. Well, no Again, job has had a for quite some time, has he? No, I don't think he's won any titles yet in Boogan Football TV Wrestling. Uh, well, he about lost his opportunity there. He got a two count. Lucas Moxley playing up to the crowd. And then Moxley now. Oh, he's going for submission hole. Cross face locked in. Is Gargano going to tap out? Will he, will he do it? He's a pretty tough character. Gargano is fighting out of it. He got out of it. And he's out of it. But look at the damage it may have done. A close light sends Mox to the outside. Gargano now to the outside. Unfortunately, I think this is exactly where Moxley wants him with a backbreaker. Moxley now look at this, rubbing his face against the oh, floor. He's and brutal. Elbow drop. Moxley is brutal. And this is where he does his best work outside of the, of the ring. Yes, forearms now punch. He is a brawler. Amateur takedown for Moxley. And Moxley is feeling it right now, Paul. Yes, he is. Gargano back up. Ducks the, ducks the chop. And now, backbreaker from Gargano. Well, if they're both counted out, which won't happen now, you got one back in the ring. Here comes Gargano, punches to the face, and face first goes Moxley. Now Gargano just punches straight to the face. Gargano now trying to pump up the crowd, but, they, but that may cost him. Suplex from Moxley. Now Moxley just with punches straight to the face. He's a brawler. That's for sure. And now, ripcord forearm to Gargano. Gargano now trying to recover in the corner. But Gargano able to counter, sending Moxley to the corner, drop kick in the corner, takes down Mox. Well, he won't be there long. Counter here from Gargano. Forearm from Mox, though. Oh, forearm to the back. Oh! And Moxley is feeling it right now. He sure is. And now more punches to the face from Moxley. And Gargano's busted open. I started to say, is he bleeding? I think so. Well, this is Moxley's game. This is what he does. He's drawn blood from Gargano. First blood was... From Gargano. Cover here from Moxley for the win. Gargano's at a one. Just a one? I can't believe it. No. 
Jo. Uh oh. Moxley now. Pal driver. Oh my goodness. And now Moxley may be looking to finish this. No, Gargano counters, takes down Moxley. Moxley blocked. Counter from Mox. Try to pour him to the back. Off the ropes, drop down. Leapfrog. No! Oh, the snap suplex from Moxley. Moxley saying that's over. Gargano disagrees. No! Moxley shook that up. Shook it off. And he was back up on his feet. But you can see the damage that he's done to Gargano's face. Gargano now! Oh! Face burns into the middle turnbuckle. There ain't many people that can return from that. And Gargano may be looking to finish this. Gargano now! Submission locked in! Is Moxley going to tap? I doubt that Moxley will tap. He's a Is tough guy. Is he going to tap out? He eats stuff like this for breakfast. Is Moxley going to be forced to tap out? Can Gargano get a future title opportunity? No. Moxley knees to the back, the back of the head and punch to the face and he gets out of it. Oh, the running knee to the face. And now just continues the punches straight to that wound of Gargano. Uh-oh, Moxley now. Cross face locked back in. Is this it for Gargano? Is Gargano going to be forced to submit? We may have him this time. Is Gargano going to be forced to tap out? It's a good possibility. No, he's Gargano. Oh, he's still in he this. He got loose. He got loose. Both of the miss. But Gargano. It's locked in again. It's back in. Is Moxley going to tap? Is Moxley going to tap? Is Moxley going to have to tap? Can Gargano do it? Has Gargano done it? No, Moxley still in this. Unbelievable. These two trading submissions now. But here comes Gargano. Down goes Moxley, kick to the temple. And to the corner goes Moxley. And now, Moxley. Oh, into the middle turnbuckle again. Gargano. Can he finish Moxley here? He's gonna lock it in a third time. Can he get Moxley to tap? Is Moxley got to tap? Seriously, you're gonna get Moxley to tap. He tapped! What? Gargano won! Moxley tapped! How could that possibly be? Johnny Gargano! He will be defeated! The Intercontinental Champion! Oh my lord, if this is for the belts! Johnny Gargano has defeated the Intercontinental Champion. It is unbelievable. How could this possibly have happened? I bet Moxley is fit to be tied. Johnny, watch your back. If Moxley's got a, a clear plastic bag, you're going to get it. <laughs> well, um, I think I'm going to make it official for next week. It'll be John Moxley versus Johnny Gargano in the main event of next week's episode oh, for the Intercontinental Championship. It has to be. It has to be. But now, back to commercial. Hello, friends. Well, we got to pay some bills. So it's Pawpaw back once again to do a commercial for one of our sponsors. Well, it looks like right here next on the agenda is uh, Babette's Power Bars. Yes, sir. If you need a little energy, go to Babette's Power Bars because it will give you stamina. It'll give you strength. And not to mention, which I already did, energy. But there is a warning on this. The side effects could be something that you should be looking for. Uh, if you happen to be any of these side effects, uh, then we need to talk further. So if you experience um, shortness of breath, uh, if you happen to get dizzy, um, 
if you can't sleep, if you have hair loss, uh, the in, in ability to determine right from left, um, right from wrong, or Democrat from Republican, uh, then you might want to stop using this product immediately. Not to mention, um, you might not be able to pee or poop. So just remember, if none of these things affect you, then you just keep taking Bubette's Power Bars for energy, strength, and stamina. Because here at Bubette's, we want to give you what you need to get it through the day or not. So remember, for energy, stamina, and strength, go to Bubbets every time. Yes. Okay, so our next commercial fish will be Pupples Comedy Hour. Uh, but um, coming up next, we have the Hardy Boys taking on the Young Bucks. Well, Boog, how do you see this one coming out? I don't know. We have two of the greatest tag teams of all time going at it here tonight. Well, now the Hardy Bowies have got some uh, experience and age on the Young Bucks. Yes. They have been around a few more years. Uh, so they have got, uh, like I said, more experience. And uh, I'm just curious to see will that experience outweigh the youth of the Young Bucks. We're going to find out. Yeah, Matt Hardy and Jeff have definitely been around uh, the wrestling ring uh, for a while. Uh, I remember back in the day when they were wrestling, uh, and uh, heck, there wasn't too many tag teams that had anything for them. They were superior in their uh, tag team championships. And held the titles for a while. That's for sure. And here comes the Young Bucks. You know, uh, getting back to the Hardys right quick before the Young Bucks come on down. Um, young Bucks, I said the Hardys, um, they're sort of like uh, the Hart Foundation, you know, the Hart family, uh, being, a, being brothers like that. Uh, they had their own little dungeon uh, where their uh, father had helped them as well uh, to perfect their wrestling skills. Now then, here's the Young Bucks. Look at these guys right here. So you done. know, they have aspirations. They want to be part of the management and one day possibly be CEOs. Uh, yeah. That's what we've been told. Where are they're looking for the future. Yes. To where they can rule not only what happens in the ring, but what happens outside the ring as well. All right, looks like it's going to start off with... Another tornado tag? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, all of our tag team matches are going to be tornado tags. I'm sorry, I'm, I had some problem remembering that. Put it in your notes, Papa. <laughs> I will note to note. And a headlock, a side headlock takedown from Nick Jackson on Matt Hardy. A recover here from Jeff for the win. No, Nick able to break it up. Wow, a springboard. And remember, kick. this is brothers against brothers here. Yes. Oh, and a knee. Slam. The flying elbow drop from Matt missed. The mats are going at it. <laughs> True. Matt Hardy now. What's he looking for here? Figure four locked in for Matt Hardy. Yes, <laughs> Matt, so Matt, be, Matt, Matt Jackson. Matt Jackson. It was very when you say mats. <laughs> yes. The uh, mats are on the mats. I don't, I don't, there's, there's too many mats in this here match. Matt Jackson with the cover here, but Jeff able to break it up. Now oh, flying clothesline to Matt Jackson. Cover here from Jeff Hardy for the win. By the breakup from uh, from Nick. All right, Matt Hardy's getting back in it. Suplex from Jeff Hardy to to um, Nick Jackson. Matt Hardy sends Matt Jackson to the outside. But Jeff Hardy with a DDT to um, Nick Jackson, and now Matt Hardy, figure four locked in on Matt Jackson. 
as well. Is Matt Jackson going to tap out? That's a good question. Willie, he's trying to turn him over. Yeah, he's turning he it over. over. Now it's back on him. And Hardy having to break it up. And a DDT from Jeff. I tell you, I hope we see some aerial. Oh Wait my minute. goodness, great. Oh. Oh. That had to hurt. Neck breaker well, from Jeff Jackson. Jeff does some of his aerial uh, aerobics and stuff. He, he's really uh, something to see when he goes airborne. That's for sure. Nick Jackson back into the ring. Springboard clothesline from Matt Jackson. Take it down, Jeff Hardy. Well, it looks like the mats are going. Yes, Matt Hardy sent to the floor. Jeff going at, going after Matt Jackson here. With a Russian leg sweep. And Matt <laughs> Jeff Hardy sent um, back to the outside. Nick took care of Matt in a heartbeat. But Nick missed. He missed Jeff. Oh, he didn't miss that time. And now Matt J Jackson with a DDT to Matt Hardy. Super kick! Cover! For the win! Now Matt Hardy out of two. He kicked out. The Hardy boy is still in this. DDT from Jeff Hardy. To Nick Jackson and now Matt's Jeff. Oh! Face first goes Matt Jackson. Looks like both the Jacksons are down. Jeff now. And Jeff rolling down the ring. Coming around to see if he can have his brother. Nope, he no, decides no, to get back in. in. Oh, but Nick Jackson looking to take advantage here. But he does not. Just Jeff now. He's got him up. Oh, flapjack to Nick Jackson. A stomp from Jeff. And now going to the top row. He finally got up there. This is where he does his most damage. Watch Jeff fly. Here he comes. Swanton bomb. That should do it. That should do it. Not go for the pin. He didn't go for the pin. Well, Here comes Matt Jackson. Jackson jumped in there. He could have had it right there, though. And now suplex from Matt Jackson. Hey, back from Matt. Now the Hardy now out. Oh. takes out Jeff. He's got a little aerial baddies to him too. Here we go. We're with the the, the are right on the outside. Looks like the uh, Jacksons are capitalizing on this. Side headlock from Matt Jackson, locked in on Matt Hardy. Yep, apparently. They're giving him Hardy boys a fit right now. Jeff now into the barricade, Nick missed. Oh, they're coming oh, the 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 Hardy's are coming back. And Jeff starting to get the better of the Nick in, uh, in the corner, I guess. Oh, face first off the floor goes Nick Jackson. But Nick fighting back. And so is Matt. He's also fighting back. Uh, Matt, Matt Hardy is fighting back. Ooh. And now Jeff driving Nick Jackson Ooh. into the barricade. And Matt's taking care of his on, on the other side of the ring. Nick Jackson now. Oh, and they're both going to And then Sabre Hall locked in. Oh no. It may not win them the match, but could at least get uh, Matt Hardy out of the equation for a while. If he is able to put him to sleep. Then they could work on Jeff. Yeah. Matt now down in the ring. Backstabber. Oh. They could work on Matt right now if they got in the ring. This is going to take Jeff out. No, oh, atomic drop. Here comes Matt Jackson. The power slams the match. Jeff back up though. With a springboard drop kick to Nick Jackson. Wait a minute, side effect from Matt Hardy. Cover. For the win. And the Hardy boys yes. pick up the win. All right, that just goes to show you experience over youth every time. The Hardy boys pick up the win over the Young Bucks here tonight. What a win for the Hardy Boys here tonight. Yeah, it looks like them uh, Matthew boys are going to have to go back and replay them. Ooh, 
our card needs some work. We have a missing match apparently. Party boys do win this one. But here comes Samoa Joe. Alright, I hope, I hope uh, he ain't wrestling Andre. <laughs> What are your thoughts on Samoa Joe going into this match? Well, I'm going to tell you right now, Samoa is one crafty dude. And he has been crafty his entire wrestling career. I know that uh, he's a tough cookie to crumble. That's for sure. But he's also got quite the opponent to get through here tonight as well. Well, this is true, but uh, I just don't see him doing a symphony on Joe. What do you think? Do you think back? Uh, do you think the clutch is going to put Wardlow to sleep tonight? It's possible. I think that's more possible yeah, than like the symphony happening. And here it comes. Wardlow. What are your on Wardlow going into this? Um, uh, he's got quite a, quite a task ahead of him. And uh, I hope he brought his lunch because this could be an all day affair. <laughs> Ready for action here tonight. Can he get past Samoa Joe here tonight? We're about to find out. Alright, Samoa. Let's see what you got for him. Man, look there at we these go. Two Look at these two brutes. Samoa Joe starting it off. Oh, the Ushi Garoshi from Samoa Joe. Right off the bat. There comes Wardlow. Oh, and down goes Joe. The forearm to the back. Oh, knee to the face. Forearm to the back from Wardlow. Joe now into the corner. Punch from Wardlow. Now Wardlow elbows to Joe. And now Wardlow stumped to the arm. Wardlow now with the power. Oh my goodness, Look did at the you power. see that? Look at this. How in the world? How much Military does, press to Joe. How much Joe. does Joe weigh? Three something? Three what? I, I don't know. We'll cover here from Wardlow. Is that enough to pick up the win? No, Joe out at one. Oh, how in the world did that happen? I mean, he was dropped right on his face. Counter from Joe. It was pretty much dropped on his everything, essentially. Belly to back suplex. Oh, that's usually what Norlo does. Punch from Joe. Close line from Joe. Joe is the up. win. Wardlow out of one. An elbow to the dome. Joe, maybe do maybe doing too much showboating. Wardlow not able to capitalize. Knee to the midsection. Kick to the back of the head. Counter from Wardlow. A counter from Joe. Headbutt from Joe. And now, neck breaker from Joe. Joe was throwing out some pretty good opposition. And now, you're a Nagi to Wardlow. How much more can Wardlow take? Kick to the back. And now, Joe going after the knee. Wardlow. Yep, take his legs out and have a good opportunity to keep him down. The ropes goes Joe. Oh, oh sure, strip from Wardlow. 
Oh my gosh, did you see him maneuver? Wait a minute, what low? Oh, not again. Power bomb! Oh, Cover! For the win! No, Joe had a two. Yeah, but it was a two. Joe was a little slow coming up for this one. And look, rolled out onto the ring floor, could not stand back up. Indeed from Wardlow. And an elbow drop. Oh, but this is the splash. Look at Oh, that's the get. Joe got up, and Joe, oh! And a belly to back oh. suplex onto the floor. That. Warlow definitely knows he's there now. That's for sure. Wardlow into the barricade, a punch from Joe. And now Joe back into the ring. Stops the count. But Wardlow could still be counted out here. The rest kind of seven. The clock is ticking here. No Samoa Joe suicide dive takes out Wardlow. A counter from Wardlow. Wardlow now back into the ring. Slowly Joe recovers. Wardlow now back to the outside. And Joe sending Wardlow and back into the ring. In there. here we go, fully back into the ring here. Forearm from Ooh. Joe. Cover oh, here. Wardlow down. For the win. I don't know. Oh, I think Wardlow is going to grab the rope and kick down instead. The these, are, the these guys are uh, battle tested. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. This could be it. This could be it. Joe's finisher. No. Holy moly, how could he ever get up from that? Cover, count to 100, this match is over. Now Wardlow kicked out of two. Can you believe that? He's kicked back up. What on earth, to how can Wardlow do that? Counter for Wardlow. And now he's got show up. Boy, he does, don't he? Power slam. Now Wardlow, to finish this. Counter from Joe. Counter from Wardlow. Passes the guy from Wardlow. And now he's got Joe up. Stay guys to Joe. Oh, and Joe's been busted open. Has he now? Yes. Discus punch from Wardlow. And he's working on his knee. He's going all, he's going all in now. Uh-oh, Wardlow. What in the world? Ah! Oh. And now again, oh, back out to the knee. Joe having to roll to the outside, trying to get a breather. Well, he did do a number on his knee. Still, he's holding it tight. Wardlow now bear hug locked in on the outside. Unfortunately, this will not end the match if Joe taps out. And he's definitely going to do a lot of damage here. Look at that bear hug. I think Joe is losing consciousness. No, Joe fighting back. And gets out of it. Oh, the flying axe handle, running axe handle to the face. Kick from Joe, <laughs> kick again, push to the face. Man, Northern Lights suplex. The cow is up to six now. Belly to back suplex. Counter from Wardlow. Close line. Duck. Backdrop to Joe. And now. Spine Buster! Cover! This has got to be it. Wardlow for the win! And he gets it! Yes. Wardlow defeats Samoa Joe here tonight! Wow, can you believe that? What are your thoughts on this outcome, Popo? I am really, really, really shocked that he was able to treat Joe like he was, to handle Joe like he was. 
This guy is definitely a powerhouse. That's for sure. And I don't mean hogs. <laughs> and debate, should we work in, uh, look at designing hogs? Uh, maybe. And now we have Pawpaw's Comedy Minute. All right, folks, I'm glad to be back. You know, we've had a lot of requests for the uh, Pawpaw's uh, Comedy Minute. So uh, I'll just get right into it and hopefully you will enjoy uh, these um, funny uh, jokes and stories. Okay, we're gonna start off with a few jokes here and see how you guys like them. Okay, for the first one is, uh, this is a question. It goes like this. Uh, why can't a cat jump higher than a house? Answer is, because a house can't jump. <laughs> okay, let's go to another one here. What did the big chimney say to the little chimney? Anybody got it? He said, you're too little to smoke. All right, moving along. Now then, why did the chicken cross the road? That question has been asked since the beginning of time, or at least the beginning of chickens. So anyway, why did that chicken cross the road? Anybody know? It's real simple. To prove that to the possum that it could be done. And last but not least, because I'm getting the signal to cut, my minute is up, I will say, when is a car not a car? Anybody? Easy. When it turns into a driveway. That's it, folks. See you next time for Papa's Comedy Minute. And we are here for our main event. All right, Boog, this is going to be a good one. Yes. It appears that we've got The Undertaker. Yes. Versus John Cena. Yes. Here he comes now. WWE Here comes the Undertaker. Wow. Just look at him. He is huge. You know, he, he's kind of got the cape and the outfit there. It looks a little bit like Batman. <laughs> yeah. You know, I saw Batman just the other day. Yeah. Yep, yeah, he was uh, sitting in the easy chair with a drink, an umbrella. In it. Yeah. Yeah. And there was a sign that was beside him. It says, "Call Batman." It says, "It says, uh, excuse me." It says, "Call Superman." I am on vacation. That's what it said. Interesting. But anyway, this is about Batman. This is about the Undertaker. True, but I just thought I'd let you know that because he made me think of uh, Batman. You know, we haven't seen The Undertaker since uh, he was defeated by uh, Hangman Adam Page. Wow. So he's making his return here tonight against John Cena. Well, I just know this. I don't think John Cena has got what it takes to beat The Undertaker. What do you think? I don't know. I think this is. I think this is going to be closer than you think, because we well, have the we'll greatest see. of all time, John Cena. Well, all I can say is, wait a minute. Where's John? Uh, yeah, where is he? I don't know where he is. Where is I, thought, I thought someone was supposed to come out. His music's playing, but I don't see anyone. Oh yeah, that's right. You can't see him. Yeah, he's, he's invisible. Oh my lord. So how, see, this is, like I said, how is the Undertaker supposed to beat a guy that's literally invisible? Oh, I see him now. Uh, there he is. Oh my goodness. He had me fooled there for a while. And both of us fooled. If that doesn't say that he's the greatest of all time, they can temporarily be invisible. I don't know what does. He's going in stealth mode. Yes. Well, this will be quite the event here. 
Especially now that you can see it. Yes. Well, my notes say here that uh, Cena is coming off a pretty good roll, a pretty good run. Uh, it seems like he has been uh, pretty much undefeated for a while. Is that what you seem to have on your paperwork? Uh, yes. But the other taker looks to put an end to that here tonight. Well, he intends to break that streak as we speak. Yes, the other taker starting off and punches straight to the face. Oh, howdy. He is determined not to lose this match. Undertaker has made it very clear that um, that, um, that Heyman Adam Page should be targeting his back, uh, should be watching his back after um, what um, he did to The Undertaker. Well, he's going to be using Cena uh, to, to prove his message that uh, this won't happen again. Snake eyes to maybe, Cena. Maybe, just maybe. Uh, the Undertaker will go and have another match with Dead Man. Dead Man. He'll be a Dead Man. Yeah, he will. Oh, wait, this is the Dead Man. Oh, he's he the, dead man. the Dead Man will have a match with the Hangman, and the Hangman and Dead Man will make it a coffin match. Coffin match? Yes. We, no. we should We should talk to them about that and see if we can't get that in, uh, next. Yeah. I definitely have to look into that. Punch from Tanker. Lord, I have seen no no offense from Cena. No. From the start. Leg drop to the arm. Uh oh. I didn't tell you we were looking to finish this. Oh no. Tombstone oh. Pal Driver. Is that enough to put oh, into Cena's goodness. winning streak? Now his foot saved the by the rope. rope. Woo, the only thing left there was a three count and his tongue's down uh, out. Uh oh. Take her now. No, see nail the counter. Finally, the finally, the there's first. some. Oh no. He missed the putt. Wait, no. Counter the tombstone in a DDT. Whoa, finally we see something out of Cena. Here Love comes Cena. Into the corner. Cena. Monkey flip to the Undertaker. Wow. Undertaker's a mighty big guy to be doing that to. Cena now! Reverse suplex! Whoa, what strength! Cena has to be able to do that! Cena, Cena's definitely one of the strongest guys on the roster, but Undertaker fighting back. Off the ropes goes Cena, big boot, dodged! Undertaker is brute strength, there's no doubt. Cena now! Oh. Whoa, can you believe the way he handled the Undertaker then? Yeah. Punch to the face from Cena. Take her now. Undertaker is showing Cena's. some signs of wear. Cena, though. While si Cena is playing to the audience, he may have waited too Another long. Another monkey flip. Well, Cena seems to have this under control. Uh oh, here comes Cena. Two shoulder tackles. Oh, my goodness. This Undertaker. is the punch. Undertaker's in no. trouble here, I believe. The Undertaker's in trouble. Cover here from Cena for the win. Taker out of two. Wow. Undertaker better get something going his way. Oh, there you go. Cena made a mistake. It's the punch, big boot. Oh, punch from the Undertaker. And the leg drop to Cena. Punch from Taker. Chop. And now going after the knee of Cena. It's got him looking. Nice the gut. Undertaker now. Choke slam to Cena. Cover for the win. Cena out at two. Wow. I thought that was it. I did think that was it. Uh-oh. It may be time for Cena no to rest tombstone. in peace. The second tombstone. Oh, the guy's too close to the ropes. Undertaker look, looks too... Uh, oh, yes. Undertaker saw to fix that. that. Set him up. Cover for the win. Undertaker picks up Undertaker the win. Undertaker takes it. Undertaker victorious in the main event of Boog and Pop Ball TV Wrestling. Well, awesome. What a win for The Undertaker here tonight in his return match. Yeah, 
victory for a very good match. Wow. And that is awesome, boo. And that's going to wrap up tonight. So awesome. And that's going to wrap up tonight's episode. Apparently so. So, make sure you like and subscribe, everyone. And we'll see you guys on the next episode of Big and Pop All TV Wrestling. That's the way it goes, guys. Another one is in the books. Good night, y'all.